Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Virgo. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of October 18th through the 26th. I did one for the week before. If you're watching it then, you might want to watch that one. So what do we have for Virgo for the 18th through the 26th? What do we have for Virgo? These cards are so hard to shuffle. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. Time to act. Looks like that lion is ready to roar. This happens to be your reading. So, it looks like somebody needs to take action. Time to act. Interesting. Just act now. Target. Well, that's freaking wonderful. Oh, God. A goal-oriented person. April. Month of April. Diamond, you'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So you're going to be receiving a gift. You may not get it till April or spring or something like that. You have to take action to uh, reach your goals. Okay? There's something that you need to take action on and... and I feel like you'll you so whatever whatever you take action on now is going to the reward is going to be in April, but I feel like it's going to be sooner than April. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. Now this is for the week of of October eighteenth through the twenty sixth. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe you're dealing. You could be dealing with a, a Leo as well. Just saying. Uh, somebody is taking action. It could definitely be you working on your goals, really, really focusing on achieving something. You are going to be receiving something or giving something. What is it? What do we have for Virgo? Ah, wonderful. Queen of Pentacles, so that is you. All right, Taurus got this as well. Couldn't get any better than that. Um, Queen of Pentacles, she does have a gift. She has a gift, she has money, she has something tangible in her hand. She is getting something. She's getting something that she manifested. So you are getting something. I don't know. Maybe it's a diamond if that's what you're looking for. But maybe it's not. It could be any other kind of gift. But you will be receiving a gift. I feel like it's receiving. Uh, there may be an exchange though. There could be an exchange. You know, you may have to pay for something to get something else in return. Ah, uh, what is it? Oh, yeah, you may have to pay some. Absolutely, that was just clarification. That's exactly what that was. So you, this is a takeaway, but this is giving. Okay, so you're going to get something in return. Home! Marriage, commitment, engagement. Somebody definitely could be getting engaged. They could be, uh, well... This is giving away something. It is. It's letting something go. Could Somebody could be letting go of a marriage, letting go of a commitment, letting go of a home. You know, this is giving something away, missing an opportunity or an exchange. Like I said, 
because that is in your hand. So there's going to be an ex I feel like there's going to be an exchange of money. Whatever it is, this is happiness. Okay, I feel like you're whatever's happening, you're going to be happy, even though this this Ace of Pentacles in, is in reverse. It looks like you're you, you are giving something up to receive, or something is going away. Okay, something of value or something you don't want is going away. But you're going to be receiving something solid in return, which is interesting. Now, this is extreme happiness. It really is. This is a commitment. This is a gathering, having fun, a get-together, a marriage, um, a celebration of some sort. You may be into attending a celebration, but this is a loss. This is some sort of loss, but whatever this loss is, I don't know, it must, meet, must make you happy in some way. Um, you could, I don't know what this is. What is this Ace of Pentacles reversed? What is this Ace of Pentacles reversed? This is a, didn't plan, didn't plan on something. Didn't plan on losing something? Hmm. Ah, mm. <laughs> sorry about my sound effects. I am Virgo rising, and Virgo they say that they say that your rising sign is more or more prominent than your sun in many cases. So, anyhow, um, the Knight of Swords reverse. This is out of control. This is somebody that is ignorant. That is out of control. You may be just letting this person go. Okay, this could be somebody that is just plain ignorant. You know, uh, this is somebody that is very clueless, always looking for a fight. This is somebody that may, is dangerous, okay, that is, that is dangerous. Um, somebody out of control, that Knight of Swords reverses an individual that is, this is like a, um, another card. This person is out of control. Oh. Mental. Mental. There's mental here. Mental turmoil. There's somebody here that is in mental conflict. They're struggling. Somebody is struggling really, really bad with their mental health. And, uh, they're dangerous. So you're dealing with somebody that is dangerous. That may be who you are, you know, that could be your loss. I mean, I, I don't know. I hope that's not the case, but it doesn't look good. Um, it doesn't look good, just being honest. I mean, this is like prison. Somebody may end up in prison. That'd be a better option. So, I don't know. Let's find out. Four of Cups. Uh, missed opportunity. Ignoring. Ignoring. Somebody is ignoring something. They're ignoring an opportunity for love. So we do have somebody here that has been ignoring. They have been trapped in their mind. They have been trapped in fear. They have uh, been unwilling to communicate, unwilling to change. This person is a know-it-all. This person is ignorant. I mean, I hate to say those words, but that is what I got. This person is dangerous. I feel like you're dealing with somebody that is, is clueless. I'm just being honest. This person is very selfish. They're very, uh, uh, they can't master their emotions. They, they got something to prove. You are dealing with somebody that isn't stable. They're not mentally stable. Oh, God. So. Hmm. Ah! This is heartbreaking. It is heartbreaking. This is sad. This is heartbreak. This is separation, loss. I don't know if it's a heart problem. Somebody may have a heart problem. I don't know who this person is, but I don't like it. Anyhow, the three of swords. The three of swords is heartache, grief, suffering, pain, uh, painful separation, painful loss. I don't know if somebody has some heart problems. Uh, or mental problems or something like that. Whatever's going on, you are going to experience some sort of loss. And I can't make it up. The cards are very clear. 
Okay, they are very clear that this is going to make you discontent. I think that you're going to be sad. I feel like whoever this person is has ignored a warning. They've been ignoring an opportunity for for emotional support. Or they've been ignoring you. Uh, they are very brash. This person is selfish. They are single-minded. You can't reason with this person. This person is uh, very risky, takes risks, uh, may do things that are against the law. The law doesn't, you know, it's kind of like the Dukes of Hazard. I don't remember what the theme song is, but they break in the law means nothing to them. So I'm not sure who you're dealing with, but there could be a sudden departure with that Knight of Swords reverse. There could be, you know... I don't know, hopefully it's not an accident, but there could be. I'm not sure what is going on, but that Knight of Swords Reverse is somebody that is out of control, uh, that is maybe looking for a fight, uh, they're dangerous, and I feel like they're, 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 they're going to run into, uh, I don't know if it's a brick wall, or they're going to get punished, because we now we get the Hangman here in Reverse, that's punishment. They could get punished, they could end up in jail, they could end up in prison, they, who knows where they're going to end up, but whatever it is going to break your heart. So, because of that Three of Swords, is heartbreak. That is heartbreaking. Okay, it really is. So, um, whatever this is, I don't know who this person is. Uh, whoever this person is, they are, they are, uh, they're a runaway train, Okay. And, and you, this is like unplanned, okay, there's an unplanned, uh, painful separation. But the Queen of Pentacles is you and she's in the upright and it looks like she is solid. Okay, she's solid. She's solid, she's strong, she's, she's a hard worker. She's loyal, um, she knows her value, she knows her worth, she's very capable, uh, and devoted. So you are going to get some, maybe you're going to get money from this, I don't know, not that that would help anything. Um, anyhow, because the Queen of Pentacles looks like she's getting some sort of, well she has an opportunity here. She has a goal. She's got a goal. She's got it in her hand. She's got something in her hand. Something of value in her hand. There is happiness here. Could have something to do with a new home. Could have something to do with a marriage. Could have something to do with a commitment. Um, engagement. Gathering. Get together. There is going to be a get together. This is a turning point. Um, it is a turning point. This is almost, I feel I just heard was come inside. I don't know what that means. Um, this is the end of difficulty. It's, it's coming out of the darkness. Okay, so coming out of that dark period. Coming out of the cold. Coming out of it. Help is arriving. Thank you, Lord. This is this is a this is a wish being granted of some sort. This is a renewal. This is hope. This is unexpected help. This is guaranteed success. This is a blessing in disguise after the tower falls. So this is your tower moment. The Knight of Swords in reverse is a tower moment. This is a shock. It's a surprise. It's a crazy. There may be somebody that's crazy. I'm just I'm just gonna be honest with you. It could be. Anyhow, this is this is this is definitely a surprise, uh, unplanned situation. Anyhow, um, this is uh, help arriving. This is guidance. This is a star. Okay, this is the this is a star. This is protection. You are protected. This is protection. Everything happens for a reason. This, now things are about to get better. Things are going to get better for you. Um, now this is a wish being granted. It's going to make you very happy. Now we're talking about the week of October 18th through the 26th. There could be an unplanned... Separation. I, I mean, I hate to give you that message, but that's what it looks like to me. 
whoever this person is, they are out of control and they are unstoppable. You could end up in prison. Let's hope that's the case. This over here is a get together. It's happiness. It's, it's some sort of uh, celebration. This is coming out of the darkness. This is uh, protection. This is unexpected help. This is a new purpose of some sort. Choices, options. You're going to have options. You're going to be presented with multiple options this week. So I feel like it's interesting because on one hand, you know, and there's many different things that happen in a week. So on, on one hand, you're going to be fine. Thank the Lord. Okay. You're going to, on one hand, you're going to experience a loss, but over here, you're going to be celebrating some sort of wish you've been hoping for. You're going to be receiving something you asked for. This is the, you asked for this. So something that you asked for, you are going to get. And you are going to have many, many options. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have choices. I feel like, it, I don't know if it has to do with a home or partner. Um, may even have to do with a job. that you, it's, and it's like you didn't even have to, it just comes to you. It's just given to you. You didn't even have to work for it. This is a gift. It's a true gift. Okay, this is a gift. You are going to be given a gift this week. And you, it's, a, it's like, well, you did have to work for it. I'm sure that you did. Anyhow, um, you don't have to put in much effort. It's almost like your wish is my command. This is what you deserve. Um, you're going to be presented with multiple options. Now, it may, it may have to do with a job for some of you. For some of you. There's going to be a tower moment. Then the, this the, this this tower moment uh, brings you some sort of relief, okay? And it's crazy to say that. It is crazy to say that. And it feels like now you are free to explore your options. I don't know what that means, but there is some sort of get together where a wish is going to be granted. This is this is this is after a major loss though. There is a major loss here because the five of pentacles reverse is a major loss as well. But this is a blessing in disguise because now there's relief. And I don't know what that means, but it feels like this week is going to be you're going to be I don't know if you're going to be receiving money or or what it I mean that's money, something solid, something stable, whatever, it is. or a diamond. Like I said, you're going to be receiving something. I know that you are. Maybe it's from somebody born in the month of April. I don't know. But action is about to happen. You're going to need to work hard. And I feel like you have worked hard, even though this is, you don't need to work anymore. Your wish is being granted. You, you've earned it. I feel like you've earned it, whatever this is. You are about to receive something. That you asked for. You asked for this. And it's going to make you very, 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 very happy. Unfortunately, it comes after a loss. So this week is going to be a week of action for you. There could be somebody that's angry because that lion looks angry to me. And this is angry as well. So I don't know what is going on. Uh, we could, we also, if we, we could change this up, we, 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 we could have somebody that just decides to leave. Okay. 
this person just decides to leave and you're shocked okay because that's a shock somebody's not happy and they decide to leave they decide you know so that could be the case for you as well whatever is happening this is a blessing in disguise because that star card is here You may be trying to do too much. You may be feeling a little confused this week. You may not be able to get much work done. Because I feel like something is happening that is uh, going to consume you. You probably won't get much work done at all. I do feel like you're going to be going to a get together and you may be shining. You're probably, you may be, I don't know, this is a star. So I'm not sure what this star means. Um, hopefully, I mean, I don't want to be shining at anything. I don't, anyhow. Um, I don't know about you. I don't like that. I don't. Hmm. In the spotlight. Okay, that's the spotlight. You may be in the spotlight. This week. Hmm. Oh, God. Good luck. 